point. Players traveling from across the world. One final game to find out who our 100 players are for tomorrow's $1.5 million final. Game four coming in uh, a, a northwest to southeast bus, bus approach. And uh, already at the top, you have people dropping over the water. You're going to have, uh, looks like Junk Junction might be uh, a little busier than usual. I would expect players to stretch Wailing Woods, Risky Reels, uh, Flush and Greasy probably uh, pretty often in a situation like this, especially competitive players. They know that targeting the outside zone is important. But Tyler's, if he's looking to put a record elimination count up this game going for 11 or more he's got to jump into the heat and I think that's exactly the plan going to salty smack dab almost in the center of the map looking to, to see if he can pick up a couple early eliminations gonna hit the tree house it looks like uh, three chests possible no he flies past going to uh, the, the house at the end of the street there this is my uh, this is actually my exact skin loadout Number it looks like pencil. he actually he bypassed a weapon gets the uh, the pump action shotgun and an LMG instead which is an excellent loadout, loadout up close against whoever's in the roof above him and uh, now it's kind of the time to choose when to engage whoever's up there you better look out oh he's, he's great he's, got minis. he's gonna fight this right setup. away he's gonna fight this right away tyler's not only you know took the microphone twice from zeke but also <laughs> promised 11 limbs this game so we'll see if he's a man of his word frankie has here, though. moved towards that middle treehouse and i believe the uh the player who landed on tyler's actually built up and out towards a cyber tower trying to avoid that engagement ashton getting the engagement over here at the hotel Got to hit those shots. One left, and he couldn't secure it. Rogue's uh, double O flower gets his first elimination. Only 14 HP left. Uh, Did he have 200 health already? It looks like he might have. Right. And actually, uh, earlier already this evening, Flower had secured four limbs in a single game, which he, he, it means he's got one point and five limbs minimum for the night. That can put him into Monday, even if he doesn't get another point, Jack. We've seen people make it in with one elimination, or sorry, six eliminations and one point. Tempo and Tilted, which is surprising. Tempo knows that. There's like Nick Mercy gets shock, the shotgun shot from uh, looks like down the stairs. It's crypto from above actually pushing in now. Maybe here's the uh, yeah. shield, the mini popping, and then Temple's gonna try and layer up against these early game materials. Super important, even though he doesn't have a lot of them, he's got a position. <laughs> Like Dodge crypto that. For the shot there. Tempo, this is like mid-fight harvesting materials, knowing that every piece that he has counts. Yep. Every layer is stopping a shot from that shotgun. Here's ecstatic over towards double L's. Ooh. Eliminating Ectic. Another controller player. It's great to see uh, both controller and keyboard and mouse players staying competitive against each other. Putting on a good show here in Tilted Towers. Tempo trying to still, he's still on the hunt. Still looking for this. Uh, and he's not the only one here. It's not a 1v1 anymore. Nope. Lavish and Crypto are here against Tempo. I would expect as soon as an elimination happens on one of these players, the third party is going to push. Yep. Hearing potentially a shield break, something like that. You're going to see quick, aggressive gameplay from all three players here as soon as something starts. So you see Tempo's like looking towards his back, even though there's players near him. He's looking to see if maybe someone from Big Gray is going to begin to shoot down on him or something along those lines. He's got to be wary of that. Nice little loadout here for DT. We'll be able to loot as well this campfire. Hunting rifle. Another gold compact SMG, the legendary compact SMG right there. Uh, shoots in the feet. Oh, Went out with a bang. Looks like a, a self-elimination. Hysteria takes out Steph Ryu, who we've uh, watched a number of times in the course of the last few days. But here we go, Tempo. Layering up. He looks like he owns a number of surfaces in the stairwell. Players will take advantage of that. Uh, Fourth like party Tempo. now. Everybody, it, it, there's a party going on here, and everybody wants a piece of these elims. These early ones count big time, especially if it uh, could potentially be a player's first point well there goes half of double l's editing his way in tempo sees i almost expected a shotgun shot trying to snipe an elimination there marsh in the feet taking a little boat out sick the generator getting elimination on bum boy while these players are still in tilted the c4 almost there it is tempo at five hp and the shot from ryan rex gets tempo eliminated I think Tempo's still gonna be proud of his performance tonight, though, especially from earlier on. Sheesh, King that's an here. awkward spot for Godvat as King BO2 just beams him there with that little health. But then, unfortunately for King BO2, you see, uh, I think that was blind pushing blind on in, back. right? I'm back here, Senrio back in Pleasant Park. Going for revol the, the revolver shot, misses it, but doesn't even matter. Gets elimination on GS Logan. This is first for the game. Joker Untamed, who we saw earlier in the player, uh, little player preview, preview there, gets a lucky horseshoe here. 
Southwest, this is a, that pair of double buildings uh, southwest of retail. That's two Elims for him. One elimination gives him a point. One more there. Posey oh, says, I, I heard the fight. I'm on my way in. And this is uh, this is a perfect example of third partying. Uh, the, the sound cues, people will hear it. And actually, maybe not. He was still smacking materials on the way in. Joker and Tame might have caught him off guard. He's going for this, and he has no idea just how much help Posey has. Posey's... Oh, the third party. The snipe, 162 meter. Wow. I'm, I'm assuming that that is our furthest elimination of this game so far. And there's a look at it there. Look at just that how up. far away that snipe was. Yes, it was the furthest elimination at 163 meters. My goodness, folks. Now the storm's starting to shrink currently as uh, interesting status is 1600 uh, meters wide right now and here crypto getting lavish uh, these players have been fighting it out here for quite a while and ex uh, ecstatic still alive as well one v one here you got to look out for a peak around the corner there it, people will will third person and uh, use the camera angle to watch for pushes watch for a time to pop out i think he Place the campfire inside. He's going to move inside and kind of wall it off so that he can take advantage of it. Crypto's above it. He's got to hear it. Yeah. I mean, Crypto knows exactly where Ecstatic is and potentially choosing when the push is going to be uh, much easier now, the angle at which uh, he can come from. Because he knows Crypto might be right here. Oh. Almost expected it to peak that shot right. and uh, catch Ecstatic off guard. Crypto's actually, uh, he's looping around the outside. You know they're listening to each other the entire time of the trap going down to the protect. Crypto actually in the feed there gets uh, ecstatic with the pistol to fight we were just watching. But over here, the west side, the factory is by Lonely Lodge. The Kiski building on up, dropping down, has a ton of materials, but not much ammo to use. This is one of those fights where the currency you're looking for is extra ammo for your next engagements. Continuing to break on it, gets control of the pyramid, but I don't think anyone's even in that one by one anymore. Yeah, that guy's been long gone. He moved to the, he moved to the build just behind him, and he's actually just going to give this one up. Will Sloth shoot him in the back now? I almost expect it. it potentially hearing those moved out. Yeah, he just there's. like leaves them. Sauce gets a couple taps. The the Gray SMG from distance doesn't really have anything. Uh, I mean, uh, tab firing maybe with the AR is a better option here because the SMG is not nearly as accurate. First shot accuracy with an AR uh, at that range is going to be superior. But he was just looking to spray a bit to see if he could get any damage on him. Maybe even a, a method of shield checking. See if uh, his opponent is weak enough. That under eight, under hundred. There it is. Turns around. As Nikiski dropping out, but the third party coming in. The shots from the, the hill on Tilted, which is exactly what Nikiski was looking at pushing towards. Uh, Nikiski, Divine's teammate, eliminated there, and Sloss has two Elims. This was King against Blind. Blind. Blind just drops on in, and two quick crits from that tack shotgun will send him home. Here's Tyler's from last game, promised 11 Elims in that interview. Still at zero, but still, it doesn't matter for him. He had the perfect performance in game three. 50, uh, 53 players left. The circle's about to close. We're going to see where people are going to have to move next. And it's basically centered uh, in the uh, previous storm. So everybody's about the same distance, equidistant from the uh, outside edge. Nobody has too much pressure, but there is under two minutes. you got to start making moves before too long because you want to get into these uh, circles early. Competitive players, they're going to try and gatekeep. And if you're outside of the circle, oh, fade! Baited! Tyler's goes down, zero elimination. Heavy shotgun, man! He heavy shotgun! The highest damage output of any shotgun, that heavy when it hits a crit headshot, and it shows it right there. That was, he, he, Tyler was running in with 142 HP. Kev is popping the chug jug, hands off the keyboard, just hoping it even has time to use it. It's on the far west side, too. You see the map there in a top-down view of the area that Kev's getting that uh, the chug jug off on. Two players already engaging each other. It looks like someone is trying to hunt Kev down. Uh, the audio cue from that chug jug could be very revealing. Players like General, you see that? He's pyramiding on top of his own ramp to block a pyramid attempt from his opponent. Maybe he's a trap trapped. player. Just gets the shotgun shot off. Looks like 80 shield damage, which means he knows his opponent still has some shield left. You didn't hear the audio cue. It's Yo-Yo, keep it up. A player we've seen in previous summer skirmishes puts on a good show but cannot clutch gets dropped down general drops the uh, platform out from underneath him yo-yo falls in and gets shotgunned he's trying to move quick to drop down there you go this was that fight we missed earlier on when crypto picked up the legendary double barrel shotgun one two the, the nice little swap to the pistol that rare pistol is quite good when the uh, bullets connect here's kyle over on in crates just above retail for whatever he can get. The epic 
with the assault rifle. Quite, quite good. Absolutely shreds and the drum gun as well. Swapping between two spray weapons. You see all the builds coming on in, denying any bit of high ground he can. Now he'll try to match the build himself. Follows it on up. Joshua just below. Definitely a health advantage here for Kyle. Seems like he's having trouble spotting exactly where he is. Oh, you hate to see that if you're Kyle. There he goes, Joshua with the Elim, his first of the game. All right, you see the board here. Uh, six players currently with three plus eliminations. I actually just went up seven. Uh, DT, Sakaros, and uh, Marsh are the only ones still alive, though. So you've got four players that have earned themselves a single point plus those Elims, which can uh, mean all the difference for tiebreakers. We have, we still have three alive that can keep pushing the elimination count, go for more points. It, only two more eliminations separate them from two points. And that we've seen the last two days has been enough to push them into Monday's grand finals. Diabolic falling down this hill. Look at the zone at his back. Time is against him as he's going to have to move on in. Knows there's one player in this broken house. Oh, oh, oh. Speedy peaks. Nearly gets a haircut there from the player. He's going to keep on moving. Keep Hasn't placing these walls. Hasn't damage yet either. 100, 100 still. In the feed, blind goes down to Rex. And blind this game did not have enough elims to, uh, to get a point. Not high enough rank to get a point, yep. so uh, no points from this game for blind. This is previously we were watching uh, Joshua versus put on the back side of the wall here. We were hoping, uh, I guarantee you, Kyle just, was beating himself up. There's a, a yeah. level of inaccuracy there. The spray from the SMG just didn't connect this enough. Tracking, this tracking was, was not very good in that fight, and that's what cost him the grenades. Sakairos so trying to outbuild it, trying to stay alive. Not many mats left to his name. Three limbs so far, so one point earned, but now he's getting shot from multiple areas down to 5 HP. Five HP. I think the end is near here, Lupo. If he clutches this, no. He, he almost used the rip oh to go. Oh my gosh. Opted not to because the shot stopped. He's going to get bandages off. Nope, he heard more shots come in. A layer got knocked out, and that's a good call. Yep. Uh, uh, I, I'm almost. I'm actually extremely impressed at the hesitation on using the rift to go because he was trying to hold on to that. It's such a, an, uh, a powerful item to have late game. You can reset an engagement that you are at a, a big disadvantage in by just getting up on top of everybody. But he has to take advantage, uh, box himself in, and I'm going to be honest with you. This is an extremely obvious location. Those walls don't belong. <laughs> I mean, they don't belong to the. Uh, what the, gives it away? <laughs> exactly. That they're building. That they're not obviously the safe structure. There's a lot go that that's not good for him right now. If somebody watches to move in there, they're going to take shots. Yeah. I, I don't feel like very often uh, you'd see a player box themselves in and something like that because it's it, it's very telltale. Look at everyone outside this next zone. There's going to be a lot of people coming in. Everybody that's inside the current zone down there in the south. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw maybe one of those players, the four, the top side, move north and try and build up. Or even the, yep. that northwest, whoever that is in the northwest, uh, start gatekeeping. You're going to have a lot of people coming in, definitely from Salty. It's a very popular spot. Plus, everybody from the west side of the map, they had to push across the river. They're going to have, have taken each other out. They're in a, a prime position to, to get Kevin Hysteria. Kev trying to build on up. Hysteria had much lower health, but that's not the case anymore. Hysteria, three, three limbs, limbs. And the sigh of relief, it seems, from him as he lives to see another day. Gone nearby as well. Gal looking to push his engagement. I think he thinks Hysteria is very weak, but little does he know, Hysteria was basically gifted a med kit. He's still got some shields left. I think that this is Hysteria's fight to take as well. Applying pressure in a situation like this, especially when you have somebody very close uh, to the edge of a mountain. He, Hysteria can't back out of this easily unless he goes for elevation as well. You see the push now coming from uh, from Gone, knowing full well that he's got his opponent in, in a, a tougher spot just by applying pressure previously. That, those kind of shots to knock down surfaces, that's going to make players that are very aware of when a push is going to come. They're going to stop healing, they're going to put up a wall, and Gone knows that, which means he may have interrupted a heal. The yep. aggression, it, oh, it's absolutely the perfect time, but Hysteria going for a play there, trying to get him on YouTube and jump it up above the bounce pad to get elevation. Uh, a great play. 41 damage, no shield remaining. He's going to go for it. Another one, the shot's midair and gets the elimination on Gone. Beautifully done by Hysteria, his fourth elimination of the game. And he's going to go ahead and drop on into the low gravity zone. Ooh, that clinger lands right behind 42MZ. The clingers aren't being stacked, so you know, uh, structures. He's able to get out with his life. MZ with the heavy sniper rifle. Remember, that does 1,100 damage to a wall, so it instantly destroys anything. Metal, brick, wood. He's made into the zone, though, so I think he's pretty content with where he is right now. 
No, no. What he's gonna, no. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, almost. This player. No. Oh, I'm curious if 42 realizes there are a number of players underneath him. There are actually two underneath him in the tower. And he wasn't even paying attention to that. He was watching the third party, which I don't blame him. The people underneath, unless they start smacking out the materials underneath him uh, to drop him down, he doesn't really have to worry about him too much. His low grab zone. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, I would avoid that entirely unless you're forced into it because those right. jumps, you float so much that if any player, especially 42, who he's got this heavy sniper, a body shot midair for a player with a uh, really easy good track. accuracy. It's, it's easy oh, to yeah. track oh, yeah. someone's floating like that. 42 just sitting above, still at one of limb. Don't know exactly where he stands in the standings. Really have to force a fight, maybe go for these couple limbs to get a point on the board. Now, Bearded, DT, uh, both have three eliminations. That's a point apiece. And Asteria actually right now with the most in this uh, match at four. But nobody's got the five yet. Five would get him to two eliminations. Or two points, my apologies. There's that heavy heavy being used. He cuts down that wall asleep. Almost had a chance to get a free point of damage on. But I do have to give some props to Asteria. You know, playing every single day so far this week. Not getting frustrated. Goes for the quick scope. Doesn't actually happen. Can't follow it up, and now there's the third party as well. He's just going to get close and potentially dive on in. He's playing just to be on the edge of the zone again. This has been 42 strategy for the last two circles. Now he's officially safe. Build battle. 42. Pyramids from both sides. Hysteria on the ground, just throwing some grenades. Not much ammo left. Needs to use anything he can get to uh, drop this player down. Can he get the fifth of limb? Jota Jota down to just, what, 30 HP and some minis. Steria gets control of the wall. Spray. Can he hit the shots? It doesn't appear so as of yet. Will he like to go from the top? Jota Jota. He's trying to get an edit on the wall out, and Steria knows that. He's got the high ground yet again, and Steria fails the build, so he'll be back to the low ground. But Jonah's down here again. Another shot. Jonah even weaker. Hysteria trying to follow it up. This will be for the fifth of limb and two points. He just seems he's not building ramps. No! Still can't hit the shot. At that point when he was jumping around the left side over there, I'm not I'm surprised he didn't build a ramp to get uh, over the top. Now I guess at this point, I mean it's all he's got left. This is all the ammo he has left to use. The small ammo in the minigun. Another shield tag. Hysteria just play. pleading to get this a limb. Now he gets third party down to 45 HP, and you know Jonah Jonah heard that. This feels almost like potentially like a loss of focus. He's so locked in on, on getting the fifth elimination for that second point that he's. he's and now Jonah Jonah like forgot the build. He's getting third party now from the back, and the storm's gonna push him even more. He just got shot from the angle. He's got to move in. He's opting to go for the elimination. Go for the number five. Get the second point. Hit the last shot, and he gets it on wheels. And he's gonna be happy with Lost that. In the storm. That's two points. He's gonna be happy with that. that that's two points for Asteria. We saw him with a two-point game earlier on. We'll be seeing him tomorrow for sure. In Monday's $1.5 million grand final. Colton, who I was gonna touch on, had so little to his name. That was before he wound up jumping to that low grab mode. That's how he got his one of them in the game. Gyre oh, there's the heavy, breaks the wall, and tags the health. That's why it's so useful. Down to our top 25 players. This is the last game of the night. Again, folks, remember, this entire week we've been going live at 6 p.m. Pacific time. That is not the case tomorrow. Tomorrow's $1.5 million grand finals begins at 11 a.m. PST. Spend your holiday with us here to see who can take home that $225,000 top prize. This heavy sniper's going to take a shot. All right. Very close to catching that player in the top of that one by one off guard. It's funny, he takes a shot, he, he backs back down the ramp, and uh, the, the reload on that relatively long. So he has an opportunity to take his, uh, his hands off his keyboard and mouse. The shots there from Frankie, who we saw earlier against Diabolic. The SMG spray. Up close, that thing uh, is a blender. It hits so hard, and that's why we're using it. Wow, the, the snipe coming in, knocking the surface out as uh, knives is pushing across, trying to get hey, under. He got his challenge done for building structures. Wow. It's a tough one. Top for some of these players, there's knives. Building below, Jire just more than happy to peek with this heavy sniper. Looking to see if he can catch him off guard like the player on the edge of the zone, nothing as of yet. He's got all the ammo in the world to just chill up here. His loadout is actually absolutely ridiculous. Oh, it's he has brilliant. a ton of materials right now. He has two full shields. He's sitting at 190 total HP. And actually, if you see the key binds, you see their spell Lupo. Did you catch that? No, I didn't. Not even kidding. Roll it back, check well, on the clip. Yeah, uh, he's earned himself a new fan from you, but uh, it's been a minute and 30 seconds from the last limb. I believe we just had one. 
Yes, yes, there it is. Loop. Oh, the, whoa. The, bil the build <laughs> the box. Extra. The extra. But that, that's actually really funny. Because of Nazgul, the storm starting to push players in. And this is where we get some crazy engagements. Everything kind of turns into chaos. You see a lot of players stacked on top of each other in the middle. Uh, but who's left on the outside? That east, south, and southwest sides. Those are all, they're all going to have to push in. You see, uh, he just needs one more for, going down. for a point. Nazgul getting him prism in the feed. Shotgun shots. Oh. SMG spray right there. He's looking. He's hunting. John yep. wants one more shot with that heavy sniper. Fade right on the edge. Just barely safe. But he's going to have to move quite a bit. The next circle is in the southeast side. Only 123 metal left to his name. Nazgul under 50 health. Erko maxed HP right next door. Wondering if he's able to push on it and try to force that engagement. Chris is still in this as well from C9 at 200 health. A strategy we've seen with this heavy sniper, you kind of use it as a battering ram to push through a wall, then follow it up with a shotgun. Look at Sokka, Sokka has one literally HP. one health, one HP. But it, how would Jire do? Faye gets the elimination on Rex and the feed, taking the, the shot, just barely clipping his own floor after the snipe shot. Uh, potentially maybe cost him a little bit of damage there since the shots didn't go is in on the wall. Again? Or when, we, when we get that replay, uh, he's got to move so just close. a little bit. He's, he's, actually, little bit. he's actually not had to move for the last, what, two zones? Can't ask for much more if you're Barely gonna have to wiggle this time around too. Partnologist, uh, super close to his opponent there with one HP, Sanka, and we have Fade here basically. Jire got the, the snipe! He did. He just got the snipe on the big saucy, which will give him a point. That might be the thing that qualifies him for tomorrow. We'll see in the standings after this game. Fade. Did Fade not realize there was somebody right next to him Doesn't moving matter. in. He, he died to the zone too. Fade dies to but the zone. But he was zone. at four eliminations yeah. if, he had, if he had made the choice to try and get a shotgun shot off on that player that was also stuck outside. That could have been a second point for him, but he didn't. He tried to, he went for the push and there's so many layers there. It Here it is from Jire. Oh my Ooh. gosh. And look, there's the relief. It knows just how key a third limb for one point could be. Jire's lost a good amount of HP. Two more left, and then players start. Uh, Crispy just was lost the storm. Two more players go down, and then everybody that's left gets at least one elimination just based, or sorry, one point based on rank alone. Jire gonna layer up on top of himself. He, now's the time. You just kind of hang out inside. Only 30 HP left, so he can't take too much storm damage. And the storm doesn't affect shields. Players, uh, these guys, they're so on top of that that they, he, he knows he's got to start moving early. He knows he can't spend too much time in the storm. He can't move too early, though. You're gonna take some ticks from that. Like these catacombs of, uh, of buildings inside here. All the layers, players that, that they put down just to secure every movement they can. Because there's so many angles to see for, and his builds might not be enough to save him from something like this. We'll see here in a second. He's going to try and start making moves. Two more players need to go down, and then Jack gets a second point here, which would put him in potentially on Monday. He knows this too. He actually. Oh, I thought I thought he got pulled into the roof to go there. too. We saw perspective, Sabarnologist. Lands. There's multiple players, both above and below him. The footsteps are, are every direction. And Another rift to go was just used. Fate Jesus eliminates one. Oh. Erko, and that a limb. How Shire gets a limb in 11th 11. place, so he doesn't earn the extra point. That gives everybody that's still alive a single point, though. Barnal just just watched somebody drop down. It's surprised he didn't peek up the corner and try and go for a shot. That shotgun. But he's waiting inside, secures himself inside a little base. Erko, Vape Jesus getting multiple eliminations to feed Chris. Takes Erko out. Jayomok. Ponzi all eliminated. Jayomok's had a quiet day so far, but this is his opportunity. A victory royale, two more limbs. Either of this could really just fly him up these leaderboards to join Tempo and Tifu, who we're expecting to see tomorrow. Baranologist with his second limb of the game. Five players left. It all comes down to this for some of these players. The launch pad to resecure the high ground. Baranologist starts to play the low ground now as well. Looks like that's Tempo Vape Jesus who's dropping down. Three players left. Baranologist with another limb to knock out JP2 from LG. This gives Vape Jesus three points based on th being third place and having three. Same humans. with Baranologist. Excellent games for both of them. Barnologist gets the drop in and the trap for the Elim. The last 1v1, that trap might come in big, depending on the angle. Oh! Goes up, Jamak dodges it, trying to peek up over the top. This corner right here could be it. He's got to watch this trap on the other side of the wall. Drops on down, the quick tag. Shot, get it in! Him around the corner. Jamak with the victory! We were, you were literally just saying a quiet he day up that. until right now. He needed that, that right exact, there. Yeah. He needed that right there, and he knows that the sigh of relief uh, whew, he Three. knows that that might have been all the difference. Dodges the trap twice and gets the final limb.
for the victory royale. Down to the wire. I, I have to ask something from this crowd. For all the action we've seen, for all our competitors up to this point, can we give a round of applause for everyone this week? Absolutely. People traveling from across the world in hopes of qualifying for tomorrow's 